Okay, we're going to use the Packet Tracer simulation tool to try and understand the OSI model a bit better um, and discuss quite a few different protocols that are used. So, by default, um, Packet Tracer is in, in real-time mode, so we need to change that to simulation mode so we're sort of in control of, of time. So how I do that is sort of go to the bottom right-hand corner. You'll notice there's two options here, real-time and simulation. So if I click on simulation, that brings this box which um, can be expanded based on how many uh, devices you've got in your uh, simulation um, em environment. So in this case we've only got a web client and a web server so we can make it um, reasonably big. So the next sort of step is to um, determine which um, events we want to see. So down here you'll, you'll notice there's a show all, show none. So if I click show none um, I've got I've got none available to me, but if I click show all, you'll notice there's a hell of a lot of different protocols um, that can be can be visible um, within the sort of activity we're going to use. So I'm just going to use HTTP for this one. So if I click edit filters, I can select them ind individually. Um, so click HTTP um, and then minimize that. Um, and you'll notice the visible events now is just HTTP. Okay, so if I go over to the web client and on the desktop go to the web browser and type um, http www.osi.local and click go. Okay, you'll notice at the moment that nothing's um, appeared. So if I push that along, because like I say, we're in simulation mode here, if I push it along four times. Um, and then click back on the client, um, the, the browser. So for this um, activities page has, has appeared. So if I click on each one of these different um, sort of transmissions, I'll get a bit different, um, different activities on each one or different viewpoints on each one. So if I click on the first one, we're only looking at layers four, three, two, and one so far with HTTP here. So you'll notice it says source port 1026, so that's a randomly generated TCT, TCP port above 1024. Um, so it could be 1024, 1025, 1026 and above. Um, and the destination port is port 80, which is HTTP port on the web server. We've got IP header, uh, IP address, so the IP source IP, um, which is 192.168.1.1, so that's the IP of the web client and the destination IP is the IP address of the server. And here in layer two, we've got the MAC address. Um, so the MAC address of the of the web client and the web server. So for example, if we look at the destination IP address of, of, of so it's called dot .1.254, if we click on the on the server um, and, the, and the actual ethernet port, um, we'll, we'll notice that it's, it's the IP address is, is .1.254, so it's telling us the truth. Um, let's just try it again. It's messed up a bit. And then okay. Okay. So on the th on the third one down, we've got a bit more information here because when using TCP, we're using a three-way handshake. So what what that means is it's it's sending. Um, sending a request to the server it's saying can I talk to you and the server says okay I like what you want to say sure so it sends sends that acknowledgement back for then the, the client to then send it again so that's why it's called a three-way um, handshake and we've got quite a bit of more information here so the inbound um, as you'll notice the port numbers changed from the from the previous request um, to 1027 that's just because it's randomly generating that port number but destination port 8 is the same because um, that's HTTP so that will always be the same if you're using HTTP um, so these sort of are opposites of each other so we've got the the inbound so that's coming from the web client and then the outbound is um, coming out of the server to back to the web client um, so that's why that information is different from each side Okay, so if I go back to the first one, click on the sort of PDU details, we've got quite a bit more information here. 
you'll notice that it's in 32 bits because um, that's an IP address is 32 bits long. Um, you'll notice within the IP address you've got the source um, and destination IP addresses and under TCP you have um, the source port number, destination port number. You've also got flags which are used for troubleshooting in particular connection types. You've got windowing which is used flow control for controlling congestion uh, used to mitigate DDoS attacks um, quite successfully. So quite a lot of information there um, in the PDU details, so it's sort of breaking it down, um, sort of what's going on at each level. Okay, um, so if I want to now see all the protocols that have been used during this um, sort of activity, if I click show all, I get them all now. Um, so I've got um, ARP, I've got DNS, so if I look at DNS you'll notice it's at, at, at layer 7, so we, we didn't have that before, we just had 4, 3, 2 and 1, so the DNS client sends a DNS query to the DNS server. Um, you'll notice that that destination port is port 53, so the DNS port again, that won't change, if you we're using DNS it's always going to go to port 53. Um, if we look at ARP, um, we're only using um, layer 2 and 1 because what ARP does is it, it's sort of connecting uh, the MAC address to the IP address and sort of matching them up for resolutions. Um, okay, so that's pretty much everything we can show you um, in this activity. Um, it's clear to see that in between those wires, when we send in requests, emails, videos, etc. across the internet, it's quite a lot goes on um, that we don't realise, so quite a lot to learn. Um, if you just want to reset this activity and, and start again, you can just simply press Reset Simulation.